Iran has been supplying Russia with weapons in its war against Ukraine, including drones, Correct. including short-range ballistic missiles. And yet Donald Trump will not say that he wants Ukraine to win the war. Are you concerned about the message that that sends to Vladimir Putin and the supreme leader? No, because I think, unfortunately, I'm not on Russia's side, but unfortunately the reality of it is that the way the war in Ukraine is going to end is with a negotiated settlement. And I want, and we want, and I believe Donald Trump wants, for Ukraine to have more leverage in that negotiation. But in order to be in a position to be a broker who can bring about that agreement, I think he's going to preserve what he says. He approaches these things as someone not in politics or diplomacy, but as someone with a background in business. It's not going to be easy to do, but at least there's a defined goal. The Biden administration mm -hmm. has not defined what victory means in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. They have not defined this is what victory looks like. Mm -hmm. And if you press them, they will tell you what I have just said to you, which is the way this conflict ultimately ends is with a negotiation. And so we, mm -hmm. I don't know why we can't just say that. And we hope that when that time comes, there is more leverage on the Ukrainian side than on the Russian side. That really is the goal here in my mind. Um, and, and I think that's what Donald Trump is trying to say, but he's going to say it like a businessman. But Biden won't even tell us what, what victory is. Well, Senator, let me, you say negotiated settlement. Here's what Senator J.D. Vance said. Uh, he said effectively that he would like a peaceful settlement that, quote, looks something like the current line of demarcation between Russia and Ukraine that becomes like a demilitarized zone. President Zelensky says that plan is too radical, that it's basically appeasement. It means Russia would get to keep the land that it's illegally claimed. Do you agree that that sounds radical? Well, I think what the deal looks like will be up to the parties when they negotiate it. Obviously, Zelensky is not going to come out there and say, in a, 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 you know, from a negotiating standpoint, he's not going to go out there and predetermine what it looks like. So I understand why he wouldn't want to go out there and define what it looks like at the front end. But I think we as Americans, the reality of it is we are investing uh, billions of dollars into this effort. And it's important that as we invest this money into yeah. this effort that we tell the American taxpayer this is what the money's going towards. Senator, we're Ultimately, almost, it's not endless yeah. war, right? We're almost out of time. So very quickly, just to be clear, would you be comfortable accepting the current lines of demarcation as Senator Vance seems to be? I would be comfortable with a deal that ends these hostilities and that I think is favorable to Ukraine, meaning that they have their own sovereignty, that they don't become a satellite state or a puppet state that is constantly held hostage so is that by a no, the Russians. Senator? But is that a no? Is that, that a what? Is that a no? Well, I'm not going to prejudge any agreement. I will tell you the Ukrainians don't want to live in a country where the Russians dominate their territorial, for example, Crimea. What's the future of Crimea? The Russians claim it. I don't, obviously, they stole it back in 2014 in the first invasion. You'll have to ask the Obama, Obama people why that happened under their watch. Yeah. But at the end of the day, what the most important thing here is that these hostilities end and that Ukraine can go back to rebuilding its economy and people yeah. can move back. They've lot, millions of people have had to leave that country. It's been devastating yeah. to them. But that negotiation is going to yeah. be up to them. I just want them to have more leverage than Putin. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.